one thing that we can all agree on, even without having played any Final Fantasy and just watched small gameplay trailers, is that all of its soundtracks are memorable. Here, Rhythm Final Bar Line is a title that essentially celebrates music as a love letter to all the defining moments of Final Fantasy titles. The main idea of this title being a rhythm game will be for the players to press the buttons correctly as they appear on the monitor in the form of musical notes. Not only pressing buttons but also keeping the joystick pressed towards a specific direction shown by the green lines and which allows the player to obtain higher scores. It's actually a pretty simple premise at first. As the difficulty of the levels increases, their complexity increases. Not only it's faster but also the level of combination required is more complex, such as needing to press a direction at the end of a combo string or lines. When starting his musical journey, the player will have access to a key that allows him to open a game soundtrack and some characters from that world. Eventually, it's possible to open all the soundtracks and thus have access to different characters and build a party with which they most identify. All characters have their own specific world or title, but that's not why they can't be incorporated into the most diverse situations. Each character has a specific role, such as fighter, mage, support, hunter and summoner, just like Yuna. Throughout the levels, each character presents in the party will gain experience points, thus increasing their level and consequent skill and strength. Still, at this point, each character will have access to three skill slots, where the player can choose specific skills for each case, or select the option to select the best skill. Sometimes the best skill is not the best option for the character, so it's really important to spend some time studying all the options. Each level will have access to a main mission which, upon completion, will give you access to rewards. These rewards can be collectible cards, new means of locomotion, although they are only aesthetic, it's an interesting detail, summons, among others. During the level itself, it's possible to collect other objects, such as potions or phoenix towns, or even buffing items. One of the main details that makes this title stand out from the other titles in the rhythm genre is precisely the aspect of the main mission. It's certainly possible to play out the levels and get the best score, but not complete the specific mission. Here comes the strategy behind building the party and its skills and its different combinations that can be made that allow the player to overcome the missions assigned to him. There are three different game modes, series quests, which is the single player adventure where you can unlock the various worlds and their different songs, music stages modes, which after unlocking the song in series quest modes, the player will be able to adventure to beat your previous score, and finally, the multi battle modes, which allows the player to join a room already created by another player or to be the host of the room itself. This mode features a rating system where you can see how each player run went. Of course, part of the magic of Theater Rhythm Final Bar is based on the nostalgia surrounding the Final Fantasy universe, on the memories you had on the first time you set foot in any title of this adventure. For someone who just recently fell in love with this same universe, it is fascinating to drink a little bit of all the inspiration around its remarkable stories. It's so fascinating that after finishing Final Fantasy X at the beginning of 2023, I felt the need to venture into other titles. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line presents a very complete difficulty system and a very demarked learning curve. Simple at first, but quite addictive in the sense of overcoming the previous achieved score or simply because you want to collect all the collectibles. 